There are many benefits to having more than one account in your Animal Crossing island. Today, we're going to go explore those ways and get more out of your islands than just having one account. If you watched my previous video, then you'll know that you can get multiple DIYs from the shore. If you only use one primary account, having multiple accounts can give you more DIYs. Just drop the DIY for your main account to pick it up at a later date. Same thing with DIYs and items from your villages. If they're crafting something, they'll give you DIYs. Sure, they'll give you the same DIY, but you can trade those DIYs for something you don't have. If they have a birthday, giving them a present will net you items that will be mailed to you the next day. Any event roaming NPCs will net you multiple items, one for each account. You can get multiple statues from Flick and CJ, purchase more than one painting or statue from Red, and get more items from Gulliver and Wisp. Celeste will probably give you the same DIY as well as Sahara giving you the same wallpaper, flooring and rugs. You can get more money with money spots. Each account will have a shiny spot somewhere on the island, so you can essentially get more trees with this method. Be mindful though that once shook, the trees will not have any more money, so collecting is limited to one character but at the expense of having more trees. Same with the trees, you can get more money from the money rocks. Each account has their own money rock. As of right now, on patch 1.2.0, there is a duplication glitch going around which benefits having multiple accounts, at least three. If you have completed certain Nook Miles achievements, you can switch to a different account to do those achievements and essentially get more. You can also get that daily rewards login bonus for logging into the Nook Miles terminal in Resident Services tent or the town hall. And of course, if you want more buildings like if you want a diner, a house in the middle of a spooky forest, or a tent for the camping site, you can have the other character's house as one of those. Or if you don't want multiple buildings, you could always not place the tent given to that specific character. I should also mention what doesn't work with multiple accounts so you don't waste your time. You can only harvest materials once. Having multiple accounts won't give you more rocks, clay, iron, and gold ingots, and any form of wood. Same goes with fruits and picking flowers and the already mentioned money from the trees. I will say though, if one account's money rock is different to the other account's money rock, the other account's money rock will have resources instead of being depleted. Checking trees is island-wide, so you can only get two furniture drops, five wasps, and 13 to 15 100 bell coins. Fossils are also island-wide, so you only get four or more depending on if you've gotten your fossils from the previous day. Since some of these give you Nook Miles achievements, like shaking trees for furniture or assessing fossils, it will definitely take a while to complete some of these for your characters. And yes, of course, if you want to build a bridge or incline or move a building, you need to hop onto the main account for that. But that's all I can think of for now. Is there anything I missed? Let me know in the comments below. But other than that, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching this video. Really do appreciate it. Hopefully you have a good morning, afternoon, evening, night, whatever time it is for you. And until our paths cross.